In this quick video, I will show you how to bridge Ethereum to Kronos step by step. The first step is, you should have a Kronos mainnet in your MetaMask wallet and you can see it here. If you don't have one, you can just google it and add the network manually. The second step is, go to multichain.org and click enter app. Then, it will lead you to this website. As you can see, the Ethereum is highlighted here and you can see my balance and my MetaMask wallet address. Now, the third step is choosing what network you're going to use to receive the token and what token you're going to bridge from Ethereum to Kronos. And this part, you don't have to change this because we are already using Ethereum mainnet as our main network in MetaMask. As for the token, you can just click it here. Then select the token you want. You can just search the name or just paste the address. So you don't have to waste your time scrolling down. Now, choose Quantum's Mainnet as your receiver because you want to bridge from Ethereum to Kronos. So I'm just gonna click it here. Then Type the network, click Kronos mainnet, and we're done. The fourth step is typing the amount of token you want to send. For example, I want to send 100 USD. And you can see it here below the amount that you will receive. And you notice that it is not the original amount because we have a gas fee of 0.19 USDT. Now, you should have enough Ethereum in your Ethereum account in MetaMask wallet because we are going to use it on the transaction later on. After you type the amount, click Approve USDT and the confirmation will pop up here. And you can see the transaction fee and the equivalent amount of Ethereum. And as you can see, I don't have enough Ethereum in my account to pay for the transaction fees. So I will just reject this, but you should confirm this. The last step is to click swap here, and a confirmation will pop up again here. And click confirm. After you confirm it, wait for a few minutes to receive your token. Now, the, the estimated time of arrival will depend on the amount of token you are sending. The smaller the amount, the shorter it will take to receive your token. And the, the larger the amount, the longer it will take to receive your token. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about how to bridge Ethereum to Kronos.